Hello friends, my name is Sulmon Pepra and here on this channel I'll be making video tutorials on Vectorworks, Cinema 4D, Rhino and many more. If these are the kind of applications that you wish to learn, then I recommend you subscribe to the channel and also you hit the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first people to know. In my previous video, I gave an overview of the Vectorworks interface, introduced you to the two sets, the menus that are in Vectorworks. So in this video, I'm going to move further into what I started in my previous video. I'm going to begin with the navigation tools. Okay. So as I started, sorry, as I stated in my previous video, the basic two sets can be found at the upper left corner of your screen where my mouse cursor is currently at. So that's the basic two sets and under the basic two sets, we are going to look at the navigation tools, which is the pan and then the flyover tool. Okay. So to begin, the pan tool is a little icon with the hand here. So once you click on the pan tool, you come back to your workspace and you can move the entire workspace. Basically, that is the the, the function of the pan tool it allows you to move the workspace okay so as you can see the workspace can be moved and as you can also notice as i'm moving the workspace uh, the origin is being moved as well and then the guys and the ruler are also being moved as well so that is the workspace okay so when you press down the left mouse you will see this additional option here, which is the move page. So the move page tool is literally used to move the page. Okay, so this time around, it is not going to move the entire workspace, but only this page here. Okay, so only this page, which has the grid, um, is the only feature here which is going to get moved. So once you click here, you hold, you can move it to other places. You can move it to the right. Okay, you can move it to the left. Okay, you can move it to the left, you can move it to any place that you want, and that is the move page tool. Okay, and it can be found under the pound tool. Okay, so moving on, we are going to look at how the flyover tool works. And basically, the flyover tool works in the 3D environment, uh, which is used to orbit around your scene. Okay, so once you click on the flyover tool, to automatically send you or to automatically activate the 3d mode or the 3d scene so once you click on the flyover tool it will bring you straight to the 3d environment okay so right now i don't have any model here as you can see i don't have any model here yet okay i don't have any model here yet so once you click on any tool here or once you click on any tools once you click on any tool in the basic tool sets, you have some additional features. We have some additional modes here where my mouse cursor is. And basically, these modes uh, gives you additional options to, to draw or to use that particular tool that you've clicked on here. So you see, once I click on the flyover tool, and then you see here where my mouse cursor is, it has given me additional options in which the flyover tool can be used. So let's illustrate them so the first option here is the view center mode okay so once you click on the flyover tool the first option here will be activated automatically so that is a view view center mode and basically it allows you to orbit around the center of your view okay it allows you to orbit around the center of your view and then uh let me use a quick let me do a quick illustration here let me do a quick demonstration here okay so i'm going to use uh, I'm going to use the hemisphere tool in the 3D modeling tool sets and then uh, I'm going to draw a hemisphere here to illustrate the flyover tool. I will be doing a detailed video on how to use the Vectorworks 3D modeling tools but for now just to illustrate the flyover tool I've drawn this hemisphere here quickly to, to illustrate how the flyover tool is used so once the view center mode is active okay so the view center mode allows you to orbit around the center of the view so as you can see it is orbiting the entire object okay 
is orbiting in tau object there isn't any defined axis along which the orbit is being made it's just orbiting from the center of this view okay so we also have an additional option here which is the interactive origin mode okay so once you click on the interactive origin mode you know the difference pretty shortly okay so the interactive origin mode allows you to define an orbit i would say an orbit axis or a point along which you want your object to be orbited so once you once you click here also once, once you choose the mode interactive origin mode you can come back to your scene here and then you can click on any point here okay so let's say i want to orbit around this point so you click here and then you see this black axis being drawn uh, along that point and you can orbit around that particular point as you can see okay as you can see so you can also choose a different point if, if, if i if i bring the point here you can also orbit around this point as you can see so you can orbit around various various points in your model okay so that's basically how the flyover 2 works okay so that's basically that for this video in my next video i'm going to uh, demonstrate the zoom the text and also the call out too but for now this is where i end this video thank you very much for your time and see you in the next video